hello everyone in this video i am going to share how to make a mood board when a client reach out me and request to create a website for them as the first step i ask for url requirements also i ask similar website to his idea so it will help us to get design inspiration and get the clear idea about the final output then my team and i analyze those details and create a proposal after client agree with the proposal we are start to create the mood board here is the step by step process of creating the mood board as an example let's think our client need to create a website for his clinic as the first step we are going to figma.com and create a empty frame so let's go to figma.com then i will click on new design file and in here i can click on the frame and i will select the frame size as desktop and click on desktop so we create a frame successfully now i will rename this to mood board okay now we have to analyze the website that provided by our client so in this case we don't have any sample site so let's go to the second step the second step is find design on website like dribble pinterest and behance so let's go to the dribble.com you can create a free account on dribble after that you will see the search sign like this so i already created a dribble account i will search the web design so let's search something like clinic and press enter in here you will see design related to clinic so let's open some of them i will open this one in new window and this one then i will also open this one this one this one this one there are a lot of websites related to dribble so in your case if you don't see much website like this you can check this related keyword and find the related website so let's search something like healthcare also if you want to see only web design you can just click on this web design in tab okay i open all the design template on separate tabs so let's go to the first tab and this is the first design inspiration so if i click on this design it just a banner section of the website so i will right click and click on open image in new tab and i will right click and click on save image as then i will create a folder to collect all images so to do that i will go to download and click on this new folder button and i will add the name as clinic mood board okay then i click on save just remove it and let's go to the second design so there are two design just click on this design and it also header section and the banner section of the website so i will right click and click on open in new tab then click on save image as and save it too okay i will close it and here is another design but it not much related to clinic so i will just remove this website and here we have another website and if i go to the second image click on the plus icon in this image i can see the whole website so i will right click and click on open image in new tab and i will right click and click on save images then save it and here we have another full website so click here and this is the full website then right click and click on open image in new tab right click save images save it so i will repeat this process okay i downloaded few designs so you can also do this process on pinterest and behance but in this case i will only use the dribble.com so after you download those images you can go to the figma and in this figma design we can arrange all of those images so i will right click and click on show in finder 
and here is the sample website design that we downloaded so i will select all of them and drag and drop like this so all of them will upload it and now i will click one of this image and increase the size of frame like this and now put it like this also i will change the fill color of the frame to do that click on the frame and you will see this fill color so click here and i will make it something like ash color okay now this is the second design so let's go up and put it like this and now i will increase the size of this frame like this and let's increase the size of website let's make it like this size so we can clearly see the website also i will increase the size of this website too like this now i drag is the size of the mood board like this and increase the frame width now let's add this design too i will just arrange it so it will easy to check when i arrange the design so in this image we have black background we can crop it part to do that click this crop image icon and we can just crop it like this then press enter now it was cropped then we have this template so in this template this part is the first part and this is the second part so to separate those two parts you can duplicate this image by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v then click on it and click the crop icon now you can crop the first part like this and crop the second part like this and now you can set those two parts like this and select both of these images and right click then you can group these two images so now let's put it like here and I will get this landing page here and paste it like this. We have another one. So let's put it like here. Okay, I will arrange all of those images like this and see you in the next step. Okay, now our mood board is completed. But in real case or in real project, I will collect a lot more designs when you create this type of mood board you can share it with your client before you share it it better to add your opinion about the mood board basically you can add comments to your mood board so as example in those designs if we select the menu i will check all of those menus like this and select the best menu in this case our all menus are same so I will just select this one as our menu so now you can click on this comment icon and click on the menu and then you can add the comment so just add the comment like menu and you can just double click on this comment and click here then click on edit and then you can add something like menu for clinic website and after you select the menu you can select the banner of the website so when you do this you can compare those design with 
competitor website of your client in that way you will able to find the suitable designs so let's select this part as the banner of the client website so click here and add comment like banner and then you can check all of those design and select the next part so to the about part you can click like this and add about as the comment to footer you can check all footers and find the suitable footer in this case i will add this part as the footer of this website and i want to add some testimonials so in here we have testimonial on this first site but it better to find different type of testimonial section so if i search all of those design i will not see any testimonial section so now i can go to the rival.com and search something like testimonials so let's select web design let's find out testimonial sections let's load more i will download this image by clicking save image as and also i will download this one too let's find out more testimonials try to find it with different keywords so if i add something like portfolio website i can check the testimonial section of the portfolio website so i will go to web design and open some of design like this let's check the whole design and let's see if there has a testimonial here is a testimonial section and i can download this image and only copy that part you can check different keyword and find different website design to get the sections that you want so so i will add those two images to the figma design let's add them like this and in these designs i only need the testimonial section so i will crop the image so in this method you can get unlimited design inspiration and i will select this as the testimonial section of the website after you find good after you find good design you can share this mood board with your client and then you can get unique and awesome design inspiration to share it you can just click on this share button and copy the link if you want to give access to edit this mood board you can click on can edit and enter the email address of your client and click on send invite so i will just copy this link and let's open incognito window and paste it so here is the mood board the client can increase and decrease the size of the templates and check one by one but if you don't give him access to edit the mood board he will not able to see the comments on the mood board so here is the simple process to create the mood board in this method you can find modern web design 